God gave us a war, and this sword can't be near. You reach for it, you reach for him, you reach for these dreams. Two wraps on his two red, two straps from the upper Take care of this guy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you guys were still training here. Oh yeah, I mean this has been just so much better than the other place <laughs> that we were training at. Finish. That's where that right's a hair short then. Big week of training right here with Sam is he's got the Diamond League coming up. He had the best season of his life, PRing 68 meters, made the world final, top three at nationals. And so he's got to get, we're getting back into shape for this Diamond League final so he can try and make some money. It's a little stiff from driving yesterday. So he's like trying to find that rhythm. And then as he's finding that rhythm, it's it's like making sure when we get in the weight room, he's going to be moving. Up. This is like the last week of moving some heavier stuff. So his big problem that he's got to conquer is just trying to peak after a really, really long season. Yo. No, you didn't. <laughs> I felt my fall right away. Oh, that one you said I didn't. I didn't even like. I had to look and see if that one was in two five. Really good. Yeah. Versus like a It was just so slow. <laughs> I thought it was like a 45 pound lead. <laughs> <laughs> you to pause it to see the wood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was good. Was that? That's how I've been feeling the last few weeks. Uh, up and down. Uh, got COVID four weeks ago, coming back from Worlds. So that was, that was down. Um, I feel like I've been getting better every day though. A little inconsistent in practice, but last week it's been coming together, but not today. Where's your next meet? Uh, Zurich, September 8th, the Diamond League final. So that'll be pretty cool. Hopefully won't embarrass myself. How would you compare this to the, like prepping for a world? Uh, it's been honestly a little weird. I've had like five weeks without any meets so far in August, and it'll be another like two until Zurich. So it's been weird just training in this hot ass sun for <laughs> just like in a vacuum for a while. But it's been good. This has been like the longest stretch of time I've been home since like February, March. So it's been cool getting in a bit of a training routine and hopefully I'll be able to dial it up in a couple days. I mean, no, but it was terrible. Alex has said this, where like the Diamond League final is actually harder than the Olympic final or the World Championships final. And I think it, he's probably right. It's just no one, that was pretty good, Lingen. It's just no one really thinks that way. So there is a higher magnitude. There's more money on the line. There's, there's you know, if he throws well there, better odds for next year as well to make it, uh, you know, more lucrative for him financially. It's like the real part of throwing right now, as far as like trying to survive and make money. Just the boiler seats like I came to clean your motor. Mother mumble 
rapper, I'd rather be a mogul. Million dollar market bills closing on my mobile. Keep the grass cut, got a phobia for cold. Still a little bit of the same, like getting in the right hole. Yeah, I like the one before that more, but I think like the average is way higher than it was last week. Yeah. How's it going, Ledge? Going good. Feeling good. I just feel working back into it after that time off. It's feeling good. First month was a little rough, but it's just classic postseason. It feels a little rough. First two weeks, third week you're fine. The fourth week it's like no left. The start and the stop of the throw. I think it's normal when it gets this hot out. I mean, and two, when you're starting to peak, it's like you can feel a position. Or when you're starting to dial in with your movement, you can feel that position just be a little out of wax. It's like you feel it right away. But also when it's this hot out, you can feel sometimes if his hand's sliding. That also can play a role with the start and stop, but it's frustrating because then he gets even more pissed. <laughs> Sam's hard to coach when he's pissed. And then even on like the power throws, I was like, okay. dude, I'm insanely stiff. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, and that just continued for the last hour and a half. Um, trying to tighten up some technical stuff. So uh, I have a tendency to like kind of dump my chest and shoulders out of the back. And when I do that, my left leg gets high and late and throw kind of sucks so trying to fix that stuff and a couple angles and positions here and there and going pretty well until today but that's what happens after you drive four hours so expected but this is the last heavy lift really so yeah so I, i'd like to feel decent for it Unless you really, really want me no, to do I don't, it. No, I, I don't think you need to. Legend says you should max out. You're maxed well, double. Yeah, I should max out every day. Max That's, out? Like, yeah. Oh <laughs> you mean a squat? <laughs> <laughs> it's the gras strength method. You feel terrible, just max out. Can't feel any worse. Yesterday. What's up now? How are you feeling compared to yesterday? Ah, uh, much better. Uh, I slept a full night and uh, I didn't drive four and a half hours. And I think those are contributing to me not feeling like <laughs> so. <laughs> Still not great, but getting there. So Sam is focusing right now on speed and a little bit of power. So we're going a little bit, a little bit heavier. Up to like 125, 130 power snatches. The whole goal is, this is like his transition week where he's gonna go from, he's got lower volume, so the volume's cut drastically, but he's still pushing the intensity a little bit. But 
by Wednesday, Thursday, all that's going to be down to like really low volume, minimal intensity. And so this is sort of like the last heavier uh, lift. So you guys do these power snatches, finish that power snatch, and then you the fast back squats. No, I think uh, Dane always has some extra surprises in the programs, so I'm going to check that out now. <laughs> I, think, I think we should still get like scuba gear and oxygen masks. Like, that'd be sick. We should just get scuba gear and train with oxygen tanks. Yeah, just in this hot ass sun. <laughs> Yesterday was kind of but um, you know, it happens. I was also kind of not expecting the best. I had a pretty hard training set like the day before that, and uh, I was driving to see my family and then my brother and then back here, so I had pretty stiff legs and hips. So yesterday was a wash, but today was all right, making strides, throwing, and the lift was pretty solid, so they're just screaming. <laughs> Uh, what are you kind of open for uh, going into Zurich? Like baseline, not embarrass myself, you know, throw hopefully at least like 64, 65 ish meters. It'd be sick if I could win. You know, I'm kind of hoping that all the European guys have had a pretty long season. Some of them have had like Worlds and Commonwealths and Euros, so they've been in a lot of big meets and hopefully they're tired and, you know kind of taking a break from training real hard while I've been grinding the last couple weeks. So if I, if I could put together like a really good throw and, and snipe a couple of them, that'd be sick. A wise man once told me, treat every day like you're the third monkey trying to get on Noah's Ark. And brother, it's starting to rain. <laughs>